If you are a parent of an autistic child and you need to go out and run some errands, you know that it is not as simple as to call the babysitter that lives down the street to come and take care of your child. No, it is a little more complicated. In today's video, I will share with you some tips on how to find the right babysitter for your autistic child. Coming up next. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Maria Bord. I am an author and mom of three autistic sons. And this channel is all about sharing with you tips and strategies that will empower you as a parent so you can help your autistic child reach their full potential. And making sure that you have the right person to babysit your child can make a big difference. If you're friends of other parents raising autistic children, you can make arrangements with them. Maybe next Saturday you can babysit their child for a couple of hours and they can in turn babysit yours another day. Now, I know that each autistic child is different, so the arrangement may not always work out, but at least twice a month you can meet some of these parents and their children for a play date, get out of the house a little bit, and talk with other parents and have some adult conversation. Also, these parents can offer some suggestions of possible candidates for the job. It is very important to see how the person will interact with your child so you can be assured that they are a good match. If it is possible to meet them more than once, it will be ideal. If your child goes to school and has an aide, for example, that you are both happy with, you can find out if they are looking to earn extra income after school. You'll be surprised at the amount of school aides who have other jobs after school hours. The greatest thing about this option is the fact that your son or daughter is already familiar with the person, so you will be assured that they will be happy and comfortable. Therapists are also another group of people you can talk with about finding the right babysitter. They usually get to know a lot of people in the community and they might be able to offer some suggestions. Once you find the right person, it doesn't matter who they are or how much you think you trust them, please make sure to invest in a nanny cam so you can monitor exactly what is happening with your child when you are not in the house, particularly if your child is nonverbal. This is not to get you frightened about what the babysitter might do, but take the necessary precautions to protect your child. If you found the right babysitter for your child, please leave a comment in the section below and let me know how you found them. If you're looking for other autism-related tips, please click on subscribe and watch these videos.